Hey, I'm Skyler, and today I'm going to show you how to get iTunes to recognize your iPhone. Pretty straightforward, but first we want to make sure a couple things are in order. If you're running a PC, go to uh, apple.com slash iTunes and make sure you've downloaded and installed the newest version of iTunes. That's critical, because otherwise you may have some problems. Versions of iTunes are generally backwards compatible with older versions of software on mobile devices, um, but not forwards compatible. You catch my drift. On a Mac, uh, just go to the Apple in the upper left-hand corner, you know, right up here, and click that Run Software Update. Just make sure everything is up to date and running normally. Those two criteria satisfied, connect your iPhone beep, right here to your sync cable, and then the other end of the sync cable to your Mac. All right. On the left-hand side of iTunes, which should open automatically, and I said your Mac a moment ago, PC, whichever computer. On the left-hand side of iTunes, hoping that it opens automatically. If it doesn't, go ahead and open it. Look for something that says Devices right here on the left-hand side. I've hidden mine because sometimes it can be hidden by you know, some sort of weird bug or somebody else hit it, you know, whatever, and that can make it hard to see. So look for Devices, and I'm going to click Show. Under Devices, I see both iOS devices that are connected to my, to my computer currently. Click this little disclosure triangle, and I can see all the stuff that's on the iPhone. So here's my iPhone, music, movies, TV shows, all that good stuff. That's it. That's all you have to do to get iTunes to recognize an iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.